Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about describing what a force is. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number one. This lesson is under the Matatag. Publishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. A force is a push or pull that can cause an object to change its speed, change its direction, and change its shape. Forces are interactions between objects that can make objects move, stop moving, or change the way they are moving. Forces can be contact forces, where objects touch, or non-contact forces, where objects don't need to be in direct contact. The following are the types of forces. The first one is the contact forces. These are forces that require direct physical contact between objects. Whereas, non-contact forces, these are forces that can act on objects without them being in direct physical contact. Example of contact forces is the friction. It is the force that opposes the motion between two surfaces in contact. Another example of contact forces is the tension. It is the force transmitted through a string, rope, or cable when it is pulled tight. Another example of contact forces is the normal force. It is the force exerted perpendicular to the surface when one object pushes against another. Another example of contact forces is the muscular force. It is the force exerted by the muscles when they contract or shorten. It is a force that allows us to move our body parts and interact with the external environment. For the non-contact forces, examples include the gravity. Gravity it is the force that attracts objects with mass towards each other. Gravitational force is responsible for bringing the items we toss into the air back to the earth. When an object is resting on the surface, it is exerting a downward force equal to its weight. And this downward force is known as gravitational force. Another example of non-contact forces is the electrostatic force. The electrostatic force is very similar to the gravitational force. The difference here is that gravitational force acts between masses and an electrostatic force acts between two charged bodies. The following are the force characteristics. The first one is the direction. So forces have a specific direction in which they act, either pushing or pulling an object. The direction of a force can change the object's motion. Another characteristic is the magnitude. The magnitude of a force refers to its strength or size. The greater the magnitude of a force, the greater its effect on an object. 
Forces always involve at least two objects, the object exerting the force and the object experiencing the force. The properties of these objects, such as their mass, surface area, and texture, can affect the force. The following are demonstrating the force characteristics. The force of friction acts in the opposite direction of an object's motion. The normal force acts perpendicular to the surface supporting an object. The gravitational force between the earth and an object is proportional to their masses. Electromagnetic forces can act over large distances between charged particles. For the lesson activity, the students will do the activity called What Forces Can Do. For the objectives, at the end of the demonstration, the students should be able to describe what a force is and its effect. Students will answer the KWL chart and using the graphic organizer, the students will answer the L column or what they have learned about the lesson. And for the reflection on learning, the students will answer the following question.